Hello guys and welcome to another class where we are going to talk again about the helix. Now today we are going to look at some parameters of the helix or some details of the helix. Okay, and we're going to start with the first one, which is the diameter. And we are saying that the diameter, this is the diameter symbol, by the way, and the diameter of this helix is going to be 80 millimeters. So from the tip uh, of the top here, okay, to the bottom, that is 80 millimeters. So the compass, we open the compass 40 millimeters, right? Now the lead is the distance from the start of the helix to the end of the helix. Right? So this distance from here to here is going to be 200 millimeters. We can also say that we have one turn of the helix because like we have seen in the first video of the helix, we have turned the ruler for one revolution, for one whole revolution. So it started from the top here and it went down and then back up. All right? So that is one turn. All right? So I can say something else about this helix which is that we have turned the ruler in a clockwise fashion, all right? So if I give you my back for a while, we have turned the ruler like so, all right? So this is, let's say we have turned it in a clockwise fashion, so clockwise. And when we turn the ruler in a clockwise fashion and move forward, okay? We say that that forms a right hand helix. So rather than saying that it is a clockwise helix, we call it a right hand helix. Okay, so that is another detail that we can say about this helix over here. All right, but now. Let us get to part two of, uh, of this uh, lesson and we are going to look at one more detail. Now, this helix has another detail, we can call it detail, all right? Where we can say that it is a one start helix. So let me write one start helix over here. So let me write it down, let's say over here. One start helix. A little bit crammed, all right. Actually, let me rub it off. We'll speed this up. Okay, so welcome back. And uh, it's called a one start helix because I have just one helix. This is a red helix, okay, and I wrote the numbers in red like last time, all right, the numbers on the circle are in black and the numbers on the lead are in red, all right? Now, the helix that I have drawn, I have also drawn it in red to distinguish uh, between the second helix that we are going to draw. So to distinguish between the first helix, okay, which is red, and the second helix that I'm going to draw. Now, what am I talking about? Um, a one-start helix, was with the ruler, so let me get my ruler over here, okay? So when we have drawn the one star helix, we only had the red marker, right? So I stood like this and I turned the red marker like so, and I said, this is what I'm seeing, and we have drawn the circle, all right? And what the camera was seeing, so what you are seeing from there, right, was the red marker going down and back up, right? And then when I move forward, the red marker was going down and then it went back up, right? Whilst at the same time it was moving forward. But now this time, you have seen I have taped a red marker and a green marker to the ruler. So if I give you my back for a while and rotate from the center of the ruler and rotate in a clockwise fashion, you can see what's going on. So now, let's start with the tip of the red marker at the top and the tip of the green marker is at the bottom, all right? So if I go for one whole revolution, okay, so rotate. This is half a revolution because the green marker is at the top. So one whole revolution would be like so. So the same thing, if I put it in front of me, what I'm seeing is two circles, one formed by the red tip and another one formed by the green tip, okay? 
So if I rotate it, I'm forming a red circle from the green tip and another green circle from the green tip, right? And over here, what I have is the helix that is formed by the red circle, by the red tip, sorry. Now, if I do this and I start rotating and moving forward from the camera, you can see that the red will be going down, okay, and then back up. But the green from the bottom is going to go up first and then goes back down. All right? So I know that the green marker is starting at the bottom. So let's mark that off. So I have a green marker over here and I know that the green helix has to start right from here. Now I also know that if I am starting from here, okay, the number on the circle here is number six. So if I'm matching numbers from the circle to the lead, then on the lead I shouldn't have zero over here, but I should have number six. So here number six, the black number six and the green number six are matching. Now it is pretty obvious that after 6 comes 7 and so on and so forth. So I'm going to write the numbers at the bottom here. Now after 12, it's not 13, but we go, we go back to 1. Imagine this is a clock phase, okay? So after 12, you go to 1, alright? So 12 and 1. Now all I have to do is match the numbers again and I have another helix. So here, 6 with 6, okay, 7 matches with 7 over here, so matches 7 with 7, 8 matches with 8, and I'm going to match it over here, 9 with 9, and so on and so forth. But if you have seen the second helix video, you know that you can take a shortcut, so I'm going to do that, so 9 is here, it's right at the center. So I know I'm correct. 10, 11, 12. 12 is at the top, so I'm correct. And 12 is here, okay? So one, two, three. I'm at the middle again, and I can check over here. Remember to check now with the numbers at the bottom, the numbers at the bottom which are green, not the red numbers, okay? The red numbers are for the red helix. The green numbers are for the helix that I'm drawing right now. So 10, 11, and Oh, sorry, I, I meant 4, 5, and 6. See, I made a mistake. I was reading out the red numbers, but I'm following the green numbers, so 4, 5, and 6. Now, all I'm going to do is draw the helix, as usual, and this helix is going to be upside down to what we are used to drawing. And now I have a red helix and a green helix and it looks like a DNA uh, DNA thing, what they call it, whatever they call it, okay? Now this is not anymore a one start helix but it is a two start helix. So over here I should drop off this one and write down two start helix. And this is the way to draw the two start helix and the theory behind it. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.